So this has been sent to me by Viltrox. Um, they just asked me if I wanted to test it and try it out. So I thought I'd do a quick video and let you guys know what I think about it because it may help some of you out there on whether you decide to buy the Viltrox version or the Canon version, which is basically double the price. Now I'm gonna give you the model name and I'm gonna read it from my iPad to make sure I get it right. This is the Viltrox EF dash R3 0 0.71 speed booster focal reducer. Yep, that's quite a title and I'm not gonna say that again. So basically, I'm gonna show you quickly what's in the box. We'll talk about what this is, speed booster and focal reducer. It has two titles. And that's it really, basically. You've got an Allen key and you have the speed booster and focal reducer. The Allen key is for you to remove this mount if you wish. On the Canon version, it's actually fixed. You can't remove it. It's an all metal construction. Comes with a rear lens cap, because this is RF mount, and it comes with a front lens cap, because this is EF mount, and there's that piece of glass inside of there, which makes all the magic happen, basically. So what is a speed booster or focal reducer? This is designed for an APS-C crop, not necessarily an APS-C or Super 35 sensor, but the crop on the camera. My R5C will crop into Super 35, and that's a 6K raw resolution. The R3 will also crop in to APS-C. The C70 is a crop sensor, and the Red Komodo is a crop sensor as well. So what this adapter will allow you to do is put a full frame lens onto an APS-C crop or Super 35 crop, and still give you almost full frame field of view. So you're not getting cropped. So if I was using my 24 mil on a crop sensor, it's roughly around about 36, 37 mil. But using this adapter, it will actually put this back to a 24 mil field of view, which is really nice. And the speed booster part of this basically gives you an extra stop of light. The piece of glass in there will give you an extra stop of light. It won't change the out of focus area, so you're not gonna get a more shallow depth of field, but it will actually give you an extra stop of light, which is very handy, especially if you're using something like the C70, which is okay in low light, but the fact is that I can dial it back, say from 3200 ISO and dial it back to 1600 ISO and still use the same focal length. So this is the Canon version of the Speed Booster. Now this is 599 US dollars, and this is the Voltrox, which is 268 US dollars, so it's less than half the price. They have a front and rear metal mounting system, and they have a metal body as well. So at the bottom, you've got the support. Now on the Canon version, it's not removable. On the Voltrox, you can remove it if you want. I'm gonna lay the Canon one down like that because it doesn't like to stand up. Now if I show you the Voltrox, it's actually a very nice high quality mount. Now the difference between these two is the Canon one is actually weather sealed. It has a rubber gasket on it. So this is actually a weather sealed speed booster. The Voltrox is not, so you have to be aware of that. Now I did a quick test between these two speed boosters for image quality and I could not find a difference. They look exactly the same. The sharpness, everything is exactly the same, which did surprise me quite a bit considering this is half the price of the Canon version. Now before you attach the speed booster to the C70, you need to remove the foot because it won't go on, it will damage your camera. And there it is on the C70. And it's nice and tight. There's hardly any play in that at all. So it's actually nice and tight on there. Now putting this on the Red Komodo. Now I normally have a monitor here on my Red Komodo. I've removed that so you can see what I'm doing. You have to remove the foot as well when you're attaching it to the Red Komodo. On the Red Komodo, there is a little bit of play. You have to be aware of that. I'm not sure why that is, because it's really tight on the C70, but on the Komodo, there is a little bit of play. Because the speed booster goes between the camera and the lens, so the communication from the camera to the lens is going through the speed booster, I was a bit concerned that the AF performance wouldn't be as good as the Canon version, which is here, basically. So what I'm gonna do is do a very quick test with my fastest Canon EF lens, which is my 50 mil f1.2, and it's also my slowest autofocusing lens. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a quick autofocus test with the Canon C70, the Voltrox Speed Booster, and the 50 mil f1.2 EF lens at f1.2, and see how well the camera autofocuses with this lens. The C70 
is not the best autofocusing camera out there that Canon make, but it's still very reliable. I've always found it very reliable, and I just want to see how this lens performs with this speed booster. Now I'm pleasantly surprised at how good this speed booster from Voltrox is. The image quality is exactly the same as the Canon version, and the autofocus response on the C70 is exactly the same as when I'm using the Canon speed booster. So it's a very affordable speed booster for a C70, Red Komodo, any Canon R camera basically. You can use this on the EOS R, which has a crop when it's shooting in 4K. I think it crops to about 1.6, which is an APS-C crop. You put the speed booster on there, you get an almost full frame build a few with your EF lenses. I wouldn't normally buy an aftermarket product like this because I'm always concerned at how it will affect the performance of the camera. I always buy genuine and I pay a lot more money as well because I'm buying a genuine Canon product. But this Voltrox speed booster performs exactly the same. I couldn't find any difference. The only downside is it's not weather sealed. This has the rubber gasket on the back and that for me is quite important. But if I'm doing a job in an office or a non-dusty environment or non-wet environment basically, then I would definitely use this Voltrox Speed Booster. This will always be in my bag now as a backup to the Canon Speed Booster. It's a really nice product from Voltrox. I'm quite surprised at how they can produce such a good quality product for less than half the price of the Canon. So that's it for this video on the Voltrox Speed Booster Focal Reducer. 268 US dollars, I don't think you can go wrong with this, especially that's half the price of the Canon version. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.